Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're checking out Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And specifically what I want to look at is the alternate stories. So we're going to be doing the alternate side by side, which starts in Goku's saga. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. Do me a favor, go ahead and press that like button. It really helps out. And if you enjoy, consider subscribing. In the meantime, sit back, relax, enjoy a snack, and let's get into the video. Okay, so to reach the alternate part of Goku uh, first chapter, right here on the Earth's Mightiest Duo, you have to select that. So you start here. Goku is no match for Raditz's overwhelming strength, and Raditz successfully kidnaps Gohan. However, he is then treated to an unexpected reunion. Piccolo? Yeah, Piccolo. What, what are you doing here? I was pursuing him. And as much as I'd like to kill the wretch myself, the sad truth is I have a better shot at that. If you were along for the ride. Hold on. You mean team up with me? Why in the world would you ever do that? Don't get the wrong idea. This would just be a temporary alliance, only for the sake of eradicating that alien off my planet. Once that purpose has been served, I'll keep my promise to crush you. And then I can get back to my plans of world domination. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now here you have a choice. Obviously, the standard stories work with Piccolo, but to get the alternate, you go at it alone. <laughs> Whatever you say. Goku, watch yourself and keep calm. We all know you can do this. Let me come with you. The three of us together could whip that guy easy. Sorry, Krillin. But you've already been brought back to life by Shenron once before. If anything were to happen to you now, you'd be gone for good. Maybe so, but don't let yourself get killed, Goku, or we're all dead. Dun, Master dun, Roshi's dun. right. Let us back you up if you need it. Krillin. Master Roshi, you're the best. The best around. We better head out. Bulma. Got the Dragon Raider all working? You bet. I should have realized that was the four-star Dragon Ball on Gohan's hat. All right. It's all or nothing now. Goku, wait! Bulma, let's follow them. Say what? Hmm. She don't like that. Goku declines Piccolo's invite and takes Gohan back with Krillin and Master Roshi. Master Roshi boards an aircraft with Bulma. Goku and the others go ahead to find Raditz. They had intended to launch a surprise attack, but they were detected by Raditz's scouter. They abandon their plan and decide to face him head on. Oh, Kakarot. I thought you'd at least be smarter than this. But you have no idea how out of your league you are. You know, believe it or not, battles aren't just about raw strength. We'll see how long your strategicness keeps you alive. Forever. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. <laughs> And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! We'll see about that. Okay, so now you battle Raditz. Let me share a little something with you. 
The Jusaeans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. Hopefully I block this. Yep. <laughs> you can okay. train yourself now I can charge up. I never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, take advantage of that a bit. Launch him. Do that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that yet. Oh, he didn't dodge it. Okay. Ooh, I got lucky. you've gotten any tougher. So don't you disappoint me. Got it, Goku. If you've got a new special attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> he got me there. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. I'm pretty sure so I pressed you've block been there. a new technique too? Just when I thought I might have closed the gap between us. Wait, you got a new move too? Yeah, but uh, mine's a little more work in progress. All right, in that case, I'll try and buy you guys a little more that. time. That's all right. I got power. Let's boot him and shoot him. What the power level one thousand three hundred and seven? Bump, bump, bump. You, you little brats! <laughs> Please let this work! Worthless idiots! That's not gonna be enough! Lightning surprise attack! What? Uh oh, spaghetti up. Master Roshi! Now, Piccolo, end it! Special Beam Cannon! <laughs> How could I have been beaten by such a small fry? So, obviously, they defeat Raditz without Goku getting killed. Goku and his friends work together to beat Raditz, however he warns them that in one year's time, two even stronger Saiyans will visit Earth. Goku contacts his friends and they start a strict training regime under the watchful eye of Kami. However, having not been trained in martial arts before, Gohan cannot keep up with them. He tries his best to follow their lead and train, but he knows that he will only hold them back. Then Piccolo arrives. Piccolo points out that they have been too kind to Gohan in their training, and he informs that he will take over Gohan's training. Okay, I'll leave Gohan's training to you. Goku? Are you nuts? I know. The old Piccolo was once our greatest enemy, but this one? After what happened today, I think we can trust him. Know what I mean? He's right. If it wasn't for Piccolo, we'd all be dead. And we've got a mutual enemy, so we could use all the help we can get. Right? Gohan, what do you want to do? Piccolo is an amazing fighter, and if you ask me, I think he might actually be a good guy. Well, I... I want to be strong like you, Dad. So I'll do it. I'll learn how to fight with Mr. Piccolo. Well, if you're that eager, then there's no time like the present. Teach him everything you know, Piccolo. Goku and the others complete their training with Kami, and each of them then continue to work on their individual skills. Then they gather the test of fruits for their labor. Wow, you guys have been training hard, huh? You bet. Gotta do our best to catch up with you. 
I finally finished developing that technique I was teasing before. Can't wait to... We're treating today's training as serious as the real battle to come. And we'll showcase all we've learned in preparation. How should we proceed, Goku? So now you have a choice. You can pick any of the four to fight. I've fought Chiaotso and Krillin so far, so I'm going to try Yamcha. Yamcha! You game to train with me? Totally! Better give me all you got, Goku, because I can tell if you're holding back. Yep, that's the plan. We'll see how this goes. Wasn't quite expecting that. Oh, that was not smart on my part. What? It still hit, so I guess it's fine. Oops. I guess we'll do another one of these. And that's the end of Yamcha. <laughs> Thought I might actually have a shot at beating you, but you're stronger than ever. Should have figured. Yeah, you should have. Okay. Koku and the others have tested their power. They return to their training and preparations for the Saiyans' attack. However, they do not have enough time before the Saiyans appear on Earth. The Saiyans send multiple Cybermen to test Goku and his friends. With the benefit of their strict training, they easily see off the threat. Finally, a Saiyan called Nappa decides to confront them directly. I'll be killing Kakarot first. Yeah, he starts off with that little attack. I'm twice as powerful as that runt. Okay, now we power up. And start the beat down. Oh, I missed. Hit him that time. Oops. Didn't charge up all the way. And punch finish. Vegeta, help 
Me! <laughs> I have no use for a paralyzed Saiyan. Yeah, they should have known better. Vegeta kills Nappa without batting an eye as the latter has lost to Goku. Goku and the others can sense Vegeta's overwhelming power. They divide into two groups. Along with Goku, Tien, and Piccolo, who both have the strength left to spare, engage in combat with Vegeta. Gohan, Krillin, Yamcha, and Chiaotsu leave the battlefield. Once Gohan and the others have left, the remaining three begin their battle with Vegeta. Why would you kill your own partner? <laughs> because I wouldn't be caught dead associating with someone who would be taken down by such low-class warriors. You really get on my nerves. You ought to show some more respect to others than that. Respect? <laughs> You're a poor excuse for a Saiyan. Okay. Here we go. Namekian? Namekian? Yes, Namekian people are said to have mysterious hidden abilities. Magical ones. <laughs> Ice! You must have been the one who created these Dragon Balls, aren't you? Wouldn't you like to know? Awesome! Fool! <laughs> Eat Kamehameha. Kamehameha. I didn't mean to do that, but, you know, when in Rome. Not happening, Vegeta. Bye. Check it out, this low class scum. I'm the Prince of Saiyans. How can he hurt me? Whoop, whoop. Okay. Vegeta has been injured by Goku and raged. He transforms into a great ape and attempts to defeat Goku. However, Piccolo has destroyed the moon during his training with Gohan to combat Gohan's great ape transformation. Vegeta realizes the moon isn't there. Instead, it creates a power ball to transform into the great ape. The three of them share the remaining Senzu, bo Senzu beans between them to face Vegeta's great ape form. Alright, this guy's tough. Basically, you want to block power up. Alright, now we're in sparking, so we should be able to do some damage here. I'm going to try to power up again immediately. It's going to take me a second, so I'm going to have to block. There we go. I did not mean to do the Kamehameha. That's a thing. I don't think this will hit, but I was going to run out of energy anyway. Don't give up, Goku. Oh, hopeless. it did hit. Cool. This far. Krillin? Not just me, bud. Yamcha and Chaozu and Gohan. We're all with you. Krillin, what are you thinking? Why would you bring them all here now? Oh, we got a block. Because it's all or nothing at this point. Plus, I've got a plan. And I need everyone to pull it off. Ah, man. 
And boom. That should be all of him. Yep. Now, all three of us need to hit him with a solar flare. Getting away from Chiaotzu. He's been weakened enough that Chiaotzu's paralysis is working. Okay, this is our chance, guys. We did it! Guys, we really did it! We actually managed to beat that guy, and we did it together! <laughs> Yeah, we did, but I don't have much left in me after all that. <laughs> he put up a good fight, but we were more than prepared for him. Huh? The, the Saiyan! Don't worry, Gohan. He can't hurt you now. You were the worst enemy we ever faced. But I guess the least we can do is give you a burial. Who's burying whom? <laughs> Koku and his friends are certain of their victory, however, Vegeta survives their attack with the sheer immensity of his life force. Goku and the others have used up all their energy in this life or death struggle. However, little it may be, it is only Piccolo and Goku who have remaining key. Drawing on that meager amount, they challenge Vegeta once again. Despite Vegeta's counterattacks, Goku manages to withstand them. Goku buys time while Piccolo chooses the right moment to channel the remaining key into his fingertips. Filthy Namekian! What do you hope to do with such little. Mm -hmm. Now! Piccolo! Do it! Special Beam Cannon! Vegeta narrowly dodges Piccolo's attack and frees himself from Goku's hold. Go Goku! As a result, Goku takes the full run of Piccolo's special beam cannon and loses consciousness. When Goku comes to, he sees Gohan cornered by Vegeta. While his life, with his life on the line, Goku's final punch collides with Vegeta. Vegeta takes the full force of the punch and summons his spaceship in an attempt to return home. Krillin determines to deter Vegeta from escaping, moves in for the finishing blow. But with his final breath, Goku stops him. Krillin, I'm begging you. Just let him go. I know it's selfish, but I don't, I don't want him to die. With these final words, Goku takes his last breath. Choosing to honor Goku's final wish, Krillin listens, allowing Vegeta to escape. We'll bring Goku back to life with the Dragon Balls. And the next time we meet, you're going down for good! Krillin's final words will soon invite not only Vegeta, but even more terrifying enemies to attack Earth. However, no one can foresee that yet.
As, as for Goku, after his death in the battle with Vegeta, Kami arranges for him to train under the watchful gaze of King Kai. Goku has grown stronger by training with his companions and battling other Saiyans. He arrives before King Kai within mere days. Meanwhile, back on Earth, cornered by Vegeta's use of the word Namekian, Piccolo decides to travel to the planet Namek on a spaceship that was once used by Kami. Gohan, wishing to become as strong as possible before a Saiyan attacks Earth again, ignores Chi Chi and decides to travel with Piccolo to train under him. Nearly one month later, Goku surprises King Kai by quickly mastering the Kaioken and the Spirit Bomb. However, King Kai soon notices that Vegeta is once again on a course for planet Earth. Goku rushes to notify his friends that they need to revive him with Dragon Balls. He is then back on Earth within a few hours. Goku and his companions then travel to the site where Vegeta's key is and they prepare for battle. Vegeta! I didn't expect to face you again so soon! Kakarot! If you've been revived, that means the Dragon Balls really do live up to the rumors! That's good! Listen up, all of you! If you don't want to die, you need to let me use these Dragon Balls to become immortal! Yeah. <laughs> if you don't believe me, believe this! The Dragon Balls are being sought after by Frieza, the self-proclaimed Emperor of the Universe! F frieza And I can assure you, not a single Earthling could ever match his power! Frieza is considered absolutely invincible. But if I'm granted immortality, I can kill him and spare all your lives. So if you know what's good for you, hand over the Dragon Balls. You, you gotta be kidding me. After what you did to Goku, why would we ever let you make a wish on the Dragon Balls? Yeah, no offense, but I find it hard to believe there's anyone who could be stronger than Goku anyway. Vegeta. Even if you're telling the truth, I'm still not going to let you use the Dragon Balls. And besides, the Earth is ours to defend! <laughs> Fine, then I'll just have to take them by force. Oh yeah, okay. Alright, so... It's fight okay. Vegeta again. If you this one to me, you got it. We're counting on you, Goku. I'm not done yet. Oh, I was so close. You punk. Get away from me. So I can do this. There we go. Vegeta, I can tell you've gotten even stronger than last time. Am I right? Naturally. You see, every time Saiyans recover from the brink of death, they grow more and more powerful. So don't even think this is going to go the same way as last time. <laughs> I'm not dumb enough to underestimate you like that. If anything, I was going to say the exact same thing to you. Silence! I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince of all Saiyans! Leagues upon leagues ahead of you! Really? You're gonna pay for this! How can this be? How can Kakarot outclass me? Fury could be to my advantage. I guess all we had to do is last. Kakarot, what would you say to forming a temporary alliance with me to defeat Frieza? An alliance? It will still take some time before Frieza arrives on your planet. If the two of us train until then, we might be able to take him down together. Hold on. If this Frieza person is aiming to attack Earth, then how did you manage to get here before him? Frieza travels in a gargantuan mothership. 
so my more compact space pod allow me to land here much quicker. None of this changes the fact that we can't trust you. Guys, I think Vegeta's actually telling us the truth. I don't think he'd ever sacrifice his pride as a Saiyan warrior to lie about somebody being stronger than him. I don't know, just doesn't make sense to me. Fair point. If anything, I think he'd much sooner die trying to steal the Dragon Balls than sacrifice his pride. Th then there really is someone stronger than you and Vegeta? And they want to conquer Earth? I believe you, and I think we have no other choice but to join forces. So shocked. With that, Goku and his companions begin cooperating with Vegeta to confront Frieza, Emperor of the Universe, who is on his way to attack Earth. While Goku and Vegeta begin training, Bulma and the others are tasked with keeping in contact with Piccolo and Gohan as they travel to planet Namek. Vegeta and Goku train together, refining their combat skills using the gravity chamber developed by Bulma's father. One day, the team detects Frieza's key approaching Earth and realizes the moment has finally come. Due to the massive size of the key, Tien decides to leave Chiaotsu behind, while Goku and his friends travel to Frieza's expected landing point. They are attacked during their travels by Vegeta's former rival, Kyui, but Vegeta has grown stronger from training and defeats him easily. So, which one of you wants to die next? Don't start getting a swollen head just because you beat Queen, Vegeta! Dodoria and Zarbon! I might have known you'd show your sorry faces. You're even more foolish than I thought, Vegeta. Did you think teaming up with these Earthlings would put you on equal footing with Frieza? <laughs> then you're as foolish as I thought if you think I'd be relying on Earthlings. Wait. I recall Lord Frieza saying something about a Saiyan survivor that had been sent to the distant blue planet Earth. A Saiyan who was raised on Earth? That'd be me. <laughs> a couple of monkeys flocking together. If the Saiyan race couldn't survive a little meteor, what makes you think you could survive against us? <laughs> Let's just make the last two idiots go extinct! Sure. Sure. Alright. Need to power up, for sure. There we go. Charge back up. While he just sits there. Do another one of these. Can't finish the job, allow me. Now we got Zarbon. Get ready to see my real strength. Yeah, another one of these for good measure. Power back up. It's a vicious cycle. All right, let's go. This doesn't make any sense. How the hell did a couple of Saiyans get this strong? Must be informed of this at once. 
won't even get the chance! Okay. Next. Goku and Vegeta have defeated Dodoria and Zarbon. As Dodoria attempts to flee, Vegeta deals the finishing blow. Goku is about to reprimand Vegeta for taking the life of an enemy who had given up. All of a sudden, a new enemy arrives. The Frieza Force Elite Squadron, the Ginyu Force, appears in front of them. <laughs> the first blood is mine to draw. Remember, Guldo, orders were to only kill one of them each. Don't get greedy. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hi. <laughs> I'll give you one last chance to leave this planet peacefully. I'd take it if I were you. What did you say? Ha <laughs> ha! What a gentleman this guy is, Guldo. Caring about your well-being. Damn Saiyans for getting their place. I'm gonna show you why the whole galaxy fears the Ginyu Force. Okay. I probably shouldn't have done it there. What I was going to run out of energy. Luckily for me, it's still hit. You're going way too easy on these morons. Okay. Vegeta becomes annoyed witnessing Goldo and Goku's battle. He begins arguing that they have no time to fight one-on-one. -on -one. The Ginyu Force agrees with Vegeta's proposal, and joining up with Guido, they all come together as one to attack Goku and his friends. You maggots clearly don't understand, so I shall illustrate. We are the best of the best of the Frieza Force! Nay, the entire galaxy! Oh. Okay, if you say so. It's interesting to see them do this on Earth. Okay, now this is a tough battle because you have to fight all of them, essentially. And I ate that for free. Alright, now I can power up. Bad man 
manners to interrupt somebody's business. Alright, let's go. Take this! Your energy with me! For a spirit bomb! Yep, lots of spirit bombs. You're a little tougher than I thought. I'll kill you quick! You're not taking another step, Goku. This one will be my opponent. Guess I'll be having the leftovers then. Hey, Raccoon! You owe me another chocolate parfait for being such a team player. Yeah. Your energy with me for a spirit bomb. Done. Yeah. Okay. Not chase. I guess that makes Goku the new fastest in the universe. Being a number two fits you pretty well, though. Shut your face! Oi! Are you gonna waste the whole rest of the day on these pissants? Alright, I'm jumping in! Take this! Oh no, he got me. That one too. Gotta get him with this. Just got to. I guess it wasn't quite dead. Now he is. This is absurd! The Ginyu Force is unstoppable! Unstoppable, I tell you! Clearly. Clearly unstoppable. Combining their powers, Goku and Vegeta force the Ginyu Force into retreat. Seeing that their will is broken, Goku orders them to return to their planet. Instead, the Ginyu Force spots an opening and tries to kill Goku while his guard is down, only be only to be cut down by them. Are bleh, only to be cut down themselves by Vegeta. English is hard. After Vegeta's devastating attack, it is only Ginyu who remains when the enemy leader, Frieza, emerges. Frieza orders Ginyu to search for the Dragon Balls. As Ginyu leaves, Vegeta follows in pursuit. 
Next, Frieza offers Goku and his friends a chance to join the Frieza Force. Goku, of course, turns his offer down, but he can sense that Frieza is far stronger than any enemy he's faced before. It is then that Vegeta, who is supposed to be pursuing Captain Ginyu, returns to Goku and the others. Before they know what's happening, Virginia, uh, Vegeta begins attacking Goku and friends. Now I can know how strong Vegeta truly is, with a first-hand experience! Vegeta! What do you think you're doing? Oh, Ginyu. Before exterminating the Earthlings, you should take care of that other Saiyan first. Yes, my lord. That's Ginyu? What the hell's going on? Is Vegeta betraying us or what? I'm not sure. But we have to keep on fighting or we're toast. Okay. Yep, should have let me get sparking. Your energy with me for a spirit bomb. Kakarot, don't you dare injure my body. Is that can you? Wait, your body? No, no way. Slow on the uptake, aren't we? Yes, my special power allows me to swap bodies with another. Vegeta's strength is mine to wield! Pardon me, Captain Ginyu. Have you forgotten my orders to obtain the Dragon Balls? Uh oh No, of course not, Lord Frieza. But I haven't yet located anyone with a I don't power know if this level hits. high enough to match your description. Naturally, because... Oh, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt you, Frieza? Why? Even using Vegeta's body, why can't I kill you? Good question. There's no other choice, then. I'll just take your body instead! Change now! Kakarot, get out of the way! Ah! Vegeta blocks Ginyu's attempt, forcing him back into his own body. <laughs> I knew you'd use your power again soon enough. You've outlived your usefulness, Vegeta! I'll wind up with a lower power level. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Change now! Stop! With Ginyu temporarily stunned, Tian narrowly avoids having his body stolen. You froze for a second. What happened? That technique, it must be. Chotsu! Worried about his friends, Chiasso follows behind being careful not to be noticed. Chiasso uses his telekinesis to change Ginyu's body with a frog's and the battle is won. Cornered for the wounded, concerned for the wounded Goku and Vegeta, Krillin and the others hand them, yep, even to them, it's painfully clear that Goku cannot defeat Frieza alone and that Vegeta's help will be required. However, Frieza is enraged at seeing his underlings beaten, and he goes after Goku and the others. Unable to bear seeing his friends hurt anymore, Goku challenges Frieza to a one-on-one -on -one fight. You wish to do battle with me one-on-one? -on -one? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I have never encountered such an overconfident imbecile in my whole life. <laughs> I'll let you in on something, Kakarot. 
Frieza's race can transform to become stronger. Well, someone's done his homework, hasn't he? So you know my little secret? Let's just say some of your elite soldiers have loose lips. He can transform? You mean like that great ape stunt you pulled? You mustn't put me in the same league as your hideous transformation. In my case, I'm merely holding back the full force of my awesome power. If that's the case, go ahead and transform. I wouldn't want you to feel the shame of being defeated without being at your full strength. Oh, you're going to suffer dearly for such an insult. Rejoice. Mad. You will have the honor of being killed by my transformed state. Uh, yeah, that's not his final form. His power is practically doubled. You're in for it now. My second form makes the one you're familiar with look as gentle as a sleeping kitten. Okay. See if I can pull this transformation off. Get ready to see my real strength. And give him one of these. Oh, come on, Goku. That's not the way to do this. Hmm. This is taking longer than I wanted. Uh -huh. Frieza in the midst of his next step of his transformation and intends to show Goku and his friends just how much more powerful them than them he really is. And to further plunge Goku into the depths of despair, Frieza orders his soldiers to eliminate Goku's wounded allies. Just as a legion of troops appears from Frieza's spaceship, Master Roshi, ugh, Master Roshi arrives to bring Chiyatso back home. Our heroes give the last of their senzu beans to Goku and entrust him to defeat Frieza, while fighting Frieza's soldiers despite their own wounds. Armed with the Sensu Beans and the hopes of his companions, Goku takes the battle to Frieza one last time. Kakarot! Vegeta! <laughs> Are you afraid? Have you realized that even combined, your power pales in comparison to mine? Kakarot, even you wouldn't be stupid enough to fight Frieza if you didn't think you had a chance of winning. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. If I use my spirit bomb technique, I think I can beat him. But even then, it's got such a slim chance of working. Gathering enough energy for it takes more time than we have. What the, what the hell are you going to do? I'm not risking the others' lives in this battle. So if we don't have an opening, I'm just going to have to make one. Idiot. It's a futile effort. Neither you nor I have any chance of beating him. 
How can a low-class warrior like you ever hope to topple Frieza? All right. Good. Charge or try to. Brace yourself. He would be try to. There we go. Did a little bit of damage, but I need to charge back up. Did not mean to do that. Keep doing stupid stuff. It's been amusing, but I get tired of this charade. So I believe it's time to end this poor excuse for a battle. And my reward to you for all your valiant efforts. The privilege of seeing my fire transformation. My true power. Now get ready. Okay. The wait is over. Now I will show you a terror far greater than hell itself. I shouldn't have done that either. What are you waiting for? Eat that last sensu bean and be quick about it! Why don't we finish with the rest? But, Vegeta! But, but what about... Just eat the damn thing before I burn it to ashes with the last of my strength! Forgive me, Vegeta. No, oh, shut up! You're far more wounded than I am. Don't start giving me your worthless sympathy. You're nothing like any sin I've ever met in my entire life. But can you hang me? Now perish along with this planet! No, I couldn't block it. They care about. Such a nature was frowned upon in our culture. Vegeta? You still don't understand what it means to be a saint. So now I'll set the example. Galic Gun. You Okay, we can do that. I'm the strongest fighter in the universe. You'll never learn when it's time to lay down and die, will you? Vegeta! It sucks that the biggest drawback to making a strong enough spirit bomb is how long it takes to gather the energy for it. Now perish along with this planet! Vegeta may not last long against Frieza. Please, Goku. Take my energy as well. Kami? I feel it. Oh, I got it's lucky there. Much, but every little bit helps. Right, buddy? We're fighting alongside you. Till the very end. Dad. We believe in you, Goku. You're our last hope. Please, take Frieza down. Take what's left of our energy. As much as you can muster. Guys, you're alive? Perfect. The spirit bomb has grown big enough to take down Frieza. <laughs> Die! I'm afraid you're fired. I'm afraid you're fired. That's just funny. What's this? In here you get Goku's sparking episode. Is that what I think it is? I, I've never 
never seen a mass of energy that size. <laughs> ah, how unfortunate for you. Don't you hate it when a plan falls apart? I know I certainly do, but nice try. No! No, damn it! Special beam, come on! Gohan! Piccolo! What are you doing here? How is that brat? And that Namekian still drawing breath? I thought they'd been taken care of! I'm beset on all sides by sneaky parasitic flies! You just should call an exterminator. To the limits of my patience, you meddling brats! I hope you all enjoy suffering the same fate as this planet. <laughs> okay, it's finally ready. Do it, go go! <laughs> what have you done? Well, with the help of his friends, Goku successfully defeats Frieza with a spear upon. And not Super Saiyan, might I add. Koku asks why Piccolo and the other Namekians are on Earth, as they should be on planet Namek. Racist. It seems as if Piccolo and the others have been able to immediately teleport to Earth by using the Dragon Balls on planet Namek. Typically, true heroes are the only ones worthy of taming Dragon Balls. However, once it's discovered that the god of Earth is a Namekian, permissions to use the Dragon Balls were granted. Afterward, a Namekian boy called Dende used his mysterious power to heal the wounded. Just as Goku and his friends are expressing their gratitude, a fully recovered Vegeta appears. This is where our alliance ends, Kakarot. I will no longer be fighting alongside you people. Mark my words. One day soon, I will defeat you. Seriously? Oh, I was this close to inviting him to the victory party, too. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he'll show up when the party starts. I think we're growing on him. I don't know. Actually, the next time we see Vegeta, I think he'll be intending to fight us for real. What? And like you said, who knows? Don't scare me like that, Goku! <laughs> At the very least, Frieza and his army won't be a threat to Earth anymore. Yeah, and if Vegeta does come back, I doubt it'll be anytime soon. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally starving! Totally. Thanks to the bravery of Goku and the others, Frieza is defeated. The planet Earth and the whole galaxy are at peace for now. The war was won, but the battles are far from over, for there are many other fearsome foes looming on the horizon. For Goku and the rest of our heroes, the saga continues. Sour Mox, Sour Mox, Taming Dad Extraordinaire, Taming Dino